Hi everyone. Today we are going to be doing a pour painting. Now there are different kinds of poured paintings and um, this one that we're going to be doing is called the dirty pour. I'm also going to be doing a Dutch and I'm going to be doing a direct. So in this video, in this one, um, I have already prepped the back of the canvas in a previous video and I have it down and I have it on the just thumbtacks regular old thumbtacks are in there uh, are shoved into the canvas this is parchment paper and this is painters tape um, and then I put it down on my table that already has plastic tablecloths on it to protect the table so what am I doing with this? This is a level, right? So let's make sure that the painting is level because as I've learned, um, you can have a painting and it's wonderful and it's lovely and then you walk away from it and the next day it looks entirely different than what you had before. Well, that was because the canvas and the table and everything wasn't level. Instead of leveling the whole table because you have you might have multiple paintings and multiple things let's just make sure that the canvas itself is level so what i do is i put it on and i've already pre done this how i put little shimmies if you don't have you can use um wooden sticks the wooden stirring sticks that we use um you could use a little piece of paper what have you and if you're in a pinch, post-its, because they can come off in as few or as many as you need. And just shove in as many as you can, so now it is finally level. So we're going to do a dirty pour. A dirty pour is where everything is put in the cup and poured out of the cup. So, as the rule goes, first one in, last one out. I think that's it. So, I'm going to scoot this over so that you can see it more. And I don't get paint all over my floor. There's that. Um, see me do it again. There's that. Because you're going to have a lot of paint. Some people ask, how much exact paint do you, do you use? I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a um, mathematical equation for it, but I don't want to do it. So there's that. <laughs> I um, pour in as much as I think that I want. I really love color. So I um, am inspired by that. And so I use whatever colors and whatever stuff that I want. So we're using a house paint that I got at Lowe's. I think Lowe's or Home Depot. Home Depot for two bucks. Apple Barrel. We're using um, acrylic fine touch. I think that I got that at, my, at Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. Master's Touch, that comes from Hobby Lobby. And then Apple Barrel, um, Yellow Folk Art, Walmart, stuff that. Oh, and Martha Stewart Pearl. Some of my favorite paints. They look so awesome whenever they come out. So, we're gonna pour it in this cup. And um, I, I like to use cups whenever I, um, I like to use cups that are reusable if I can. If not, then that's fine too but I've got a bunch of different reusable ones that I use. And so here we go. First one in, last one out. I'm gonna do blue. This is such a beautiful blue. It was an oops paint at, uh, at Home Depot, but it is so pretty. So I'm just directly pouring it into the cup. I leave a little in each cup because, well, you know, you don't know. Okay, whatever. It's about to get paint all over it. Okay, so then I'm going to go and I just have that in there. So then let's do some yellow. Yellow, as some people would say. Okay, and let's see what all this is. This is the Martha Stewart. Now, I have already... Sorry, I didn't start with that. I've already mixed these, each of these with the paint with the Floetrol. So each of them are the right consistency. 
um, that they need to be. It's important to have them all the right consistency. And by right, I mean the same. This is gonna be very much a green. A green, 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 green. I just like to stir on my head so that I know what I'm doing. So there's that. And it looks like I just love some green. All right, now, here we go. Like this and she, so you can see it completely. Because this is so cool. Here we go. Now you can pour it in any which way that you want to. This is just the most common way. People just pour it directly on it. Now, let's see what happens. Is it gonna get all muddy? It looks like it might get muddy. It might not. I forgot to put white. Now, if you want to, you can put, I've seen people do this, put like white around it. It's where it helps it flow out better. Let's do that. You'll see that I don't have any gloves on because, well, I don't have any gloves on. It's all right. We are all going to be okay. I use gloves for resin and I just, I can wash my hands. This is acrylic. This isn't going to hurt anybody. But I just take the, the, the um, I take the canvas and I kind of twirl it around. Let's see what happens. And if you hate it, you can just scrape it. That's the beautiful part about it. See some cells trying to come through but this is why we take the back this is why i parch i put parchment paper in the back yellow's gone you can't even tell the yellow's in it so i basically sit here and i twirl around the canvas some people are like oh you pick up the painting so much yeah i do because i like it Really, really cool. Is it a traditional pour? Probably not, but it still looks cool. I like a lot of movement, as you can tell. If you hear yelling in the background, it's because my husband is playing video games. Or my children need me. One of the two. So there's that. That's kind of cool looking, right? So that's a dirty pour. It's not my favorite. But it's cool, it's kind of cool. Now, you're gonna find that you're gonna see like little spots, maybe like a little spot somewhere that has, that doesn't have um, actual paint on it. Cause like for some reason it just didn't, you know, do it. I just sit there and I just tap it. This is where the gloves probably come in handy. I sit there and I just tap it. 
where I get the, I get the stick that's got the color that is mostly on it, and I do that. Sorry, y'all, I had to go wash my hands. So, what we have here is, is we have a few cells coming through. I have to show that to you. Actually, I have to show it to you in a minute. So, okay, so the one way that you can get cells is there's different silicone oil and what have you. So I'm gonna try a few of those and let's see what happens. What we're gonna see is, is they say the torch, I have the torch. So this is like a kitchen torch you buy from Walmart. I mean, not Walmart, you buy it from Amazon and it doesn't come with the actual butane that it is because well, why would you ship butane that's very not good and flammable and not great. So then you just walk on down to your hardware store, your Walmart, and you get that. So here is the butane torch and you get some cells. Actually, pretty good actually. So there's that. Those are popping and it's pretty good and they're small. That's great. Now let's try the silicone oil. This is um, BioSilk. Um, I use it for my hair. Silk therapy. Somebody said that if you put it... Okay, that doesn't work. He said, oh, if you... If you do, I wonder if it's a combination of that. So then I was like, let me give it a shot. Let me try this WD-40 because I think, oh, you could put WD-40 in there. And I'm like, let me give it a shot. This is like spray and stay gel lubricant. Let's see if it works. Because it might, it might not. It probably ate this plastic cup though. Okay. No, worse than the, worse than the biosilk. I think you gotta mix it in there. And as I suspected it, the there's some lacing through here. And we'll see what it is on the actual final product because as you can see what it is right now, it may or may not be the exact same. Now, you're going to run into what I am running into right now is a lump or two. Lumps are not good for anything. So you're going to get a, I get a, um, a wooden stick and then just kind of try and make sure if it goes, it goes back in there. But like I was saying before, there's a spot, like say it's, there's a, a small spot where you see canvas and it's not supposed to be canvas, it's supposed to be paint because well, you put it on all the rest of it, why isn't it there? So I just take my finger, a clean finger or a gloved finger and kind of like, kind of make it have paint on it. So there you have it. We have dirty. Um, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite. Probably not my least favorite. Maybe my least favorite. But um, at least it's there. And other people, they really perfected it, and it's gone really well for them. And that's wonderful. Um, but I think I like more control of um, uh, my art and like how it's done. Um, more of a negative white space and all that so um but pretty so thank you very much for watching my dirty pour of um acrylic painting and um i will see you next time hopefully you'll get to see the dutch and the direct